Hello and welcome back to the Build It Vlog. Today we are coming to you from just south of Beulah, North Dakota. Today we're with North American Coal. We're visiting three coal mines in three days. This is the first one, the Coyote Creek Mine. This is one of their smaller coal mines. Uh, it's lignite, it's a mine to mouth operation. So they're mining the lignite right here. They're loading it into crust trucks and they're shipping it over to the power plant. So we're gonna jump in the car here. We're gonna try to get them loading coal right now. And then we're gonna tour around. They're moving the drag line. They're running their 11s and scrapers over there. We're gonna go see the PC2000. It's a, a, gonna be a fun, fun little afternoon. We are at the drag line now. The drag line is Wiley Coyote, named by the local elementary school when they commissioned the mine a few years back. It's a big machine. Right now they're moving it across the mine. I think it takes a day or two to actually move the machine. Uh, a lot of people have asked me online how it moves. Well, it has basically, uh, it basically just picks it up, picks itself up and scoots itself along the ground. And we will show you footage of that. We'll also show you how it's powered. So it's an electric machine, which means there's a giant basically extension cord that follows the machine and that feeds power to the entire thing. And it has this little farming tractor that runs along behind it and moves the cable so the machine doesn't run it over. Um, so we're not gonna see the machine digging today, but we are gonna be able to get on, get onto it, check out how they're moving it, and show you guys how they move it from point A to point B. We're inside the drag line right now. We're working on it real quick, and then we're gonna go see it walk. The coal mining process, it's, it's, in, it's in segments. So at the, at the front, you have uh, scrapers, dozers, and a, a PC2000 with trucks taking the topsoil and taking that subsoil off and moving it to where the reclamation's at. So that's the initial part of the process. Then you have uh, the process where they strip the, the first little bit of overburden off to prepare uh, for the drag line, then the drag line comes through, exposes the coal, flops the material onto where they've already mined it, then they go out mine the coal, it's about a 10 foot seam of coal. So they take that coal, they move it to the power plant, and it's turned into electricity. From there, once the coal is removed, the reclamation process starts immediately, so everything is restored back to the natural contouring, all of the subsoil and topsoil is replaced, and then everything is seeded according to whatever the, the native species are here. So when they're done, the, the land they leave behind is arguably prettier and more pristine than when they found it. It's a pretty extraordinary process. Okay, we're out of here. We're headed to the good old country cuddle, Beulah, North Dakota for some dinner, and then tomorrow we go to Coteau. The, I think it's the Freedom Mine. Stay tuned, uh, they've got some, some big drag lines, lots of good stuff. All right, everybody, welcome to day two of North American coal in North Dakota in the winter. Uh, this is the Freedom Mine today. Coteau is what they call it as well. This is a very large mine. It's been here since the 70s. They produce coal for a power plant, for a gasification plant, and then for another power plant down the road. So there's, there's coal going right next door to the two plants, and then there's coal going on rail cars uh, that goes about 30 minutes down the road as well. Uh, this is a really cool operation. It's absolutely massive. Since they've been here since the 70s, they've mined a lot of the land around us, uh, but you can't tell it's mined because it's been reclaimed and it's been 
under management, uh, under mine management for so many years now post mining that uh, if, if they didn't say that's been mined, you'd, you'd have no idea. The drag lines in particular, they're Marion 8750 drag lines. They're equipped with 123 yard buckets. In about a minute, this thing can move 123 yards of material per pass, which is unbelievable. They roll 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's three people that run each drag line. You'll have an operator, you'll have someone doing oiling and managing the machine, and then you'll have someone typically on the ground uh, that'll be spotting and managing the cable. So it'll always be a crew of a crew of three. We did get to stand in a bucket, 123 yard bucket built by ESCO, and they run three of those here. Here they run two types of Crest coal haulers. They run the 200 ton and the 300 ton coal haulers, I guess. Some of the only 300 ton Crest machines ever made are, are here. A lot of these machines have over 100,000 hours on them, which speaks to North American Coal's maintenance program. It's, it's among the best I've seen. If you don't believe me, they have many trucks with well over 100,000 hours to prove it. All right, amigo. Oh. Here. From the water? Oh yeah! I need to get some phone footage too. This is what went viral the last time. Perfect weather, this is what I was hoping for. to you from the Falkirk mine about an hour north of Bismarck, North Dakota, outside of, I imagine that, Falkirk. This mine's been here since the 70s. It feeds a power plant right next door. It's all lignite coal, like we've seen over the past few days. First stop is this ridiculously cool, enormous indoor building the size of a football field, maybe even a little bit bigger, where they park their haul trucks. So it's a combination of 789, and 793 haul trucks that are all loaded by shovels out in the field. They take the coal out of the pit. They drive it all the way down the haul road at 42 miles an hour, or whatever it is. I think it's 42 miles an hour if those things haul. And they come up on their hopper. They dump into the hopper. It takes maybe 10 seconds to empty these things into the hopper, maybe 20 seconds. It's pretty quick and then that hopper control room crushes and makes the coal a little bit more consistent, throws it into a silo. That silo then feeds the power plant and that's where they turn over the coal to the power plant. So that's where that mind to mouth piece comes into play. It just goes right from the ground to the power plant to turn into energy for, I think they said 750,000 houses, over a million people, just this one power plant. I think that's it for today. Uh, so this is the Falkirk mine, we're all done. We're going to maybe grab a bite to eat and then uh, go home, do it all again next week. So, thanks for watching everybody. See you on the next one.